Did you know that there are four ways that you can use images in your mid-journey prompts? Let's start with the image prompt. The standard image prompt contains an image URL at the beginning, followed by your prompt text, and then any parameters that you want to include. On Discord, you can paste your image URL at the beginning of the prompt. If you're prompting on the web, there are three ways to add your image URL. You can paste your image URL in the Imagine bar, add it by clicking the image icon on the left of the Imagine bar and then selecting from your quick access images, or open one of your Midjourney images in your archive and click on Use Image. Once you've added an image, make sure the little image icon up here is selected. This tells Midjourney to use that image as an image reference. The image that you choose will influence the composition, subject matter, style, and colors in your results. And if you need help finding or creating a URL for the image that you want to use, check out my previous video. To adjust the image's influence on your results, use the image weight parameter dash dash IW. The default value is one, and in Midjourney V6, it takes decimal values from zero to three. And you can use multiple image URLs at the beginning of your prompt, just separate each one with a space. The second way to use images in your Midjourney prompts is with blending. Technically, this is the same as the standard image prompt, but without the use of a text prompt. To blend images in Midjourney, paste your image URLs, add your parameters, and press enter. In Discord, you also have the option to use the slash blend command to quickly add two to five external images to your prompt. Midjourney will look at the content and style of each image and then create new images. By default, Midjourney gives equal weight to each image in your blend, meaning they will have an equal influence on the results. To adjust this balance, we can assign relative weights to each image URL by separating them with double colons and a number. This is one example of multi-prompting notation, which I consider to be an advanced prompting technique. The double colon tells Midjourney that this part of the prompt should be treated separately from the other parts of the prompt, and the number is a weight. In this example, we are telling Midjourney that this image is twice as important as the other image, and you can see that effect in the results. Using relative weights like this for images is not available on the web just yet, so you'll need to use Discord for this approach. The third way to use images in Midjourney is as style references, where Midjourney will try to match the visual aesthetics of your image. This is different from image prompts and blending. Style references mainly affect the aesthetic elements like color palette, medium, texture, and overall style without necessarily incorporating the subject matter of the reference image. To use it, type your prompt and then add the style reference parameter dash dash SREF, a space, and then paste the URL of the image that you want to use. If you're prompting on the web, make sure that your style reference image has this little paperclip icon selected. This tells Midjourney to use it as a style reference. You can control the weight or influence of the style reference with the style weight parameter SW. The default value is 100 and the range is 0 to 1000 or 1000 is maximum strength. You can paste in multiple image URLs to use as style references. And you can use the multi-prompting notation like I showed in the last approach to give a specific style reference image a higher or lower relative weight within the overall style reference blend. And depending on the mid-journey model that you're using, there are also style reference code numbers that can be used here instead of an image URL. Style reference is a powerful feature and it's my favorite mid-journey feature. I have several videos covering this topic that you can check out if you wanna learn more. And the fourth way to use images in your mid-journey prompts is through character reference. Character reference is similar to style reference, but instead of matching a visual aesthetic provided by the reference image, it tries to match the character. To use it, type your prompt, then add the character reference parameter dash dash CREF, a space, and paste in the URL of your character reference image. Midjourney will try to generate results that visually match the appearance and likeness of your reference character. And again, if you're prompting on the web, you should see this little character icon selected once you've added your image. You can use the character weight parameter dash dash CW to control how closely Midjourney adheres to the clothing and sometimes hairstyle of your reference character. For a deep dive into character reference, including how to prompt for multiple consistent characters, make sure you check out this video. All right, let's do a quick review. We have the standard image prompt where you can use one or more images with a text prompt, blending for when you want to blend two or more images without a text prompt, style reference to transfer the visual aesthetics of a reference image to your results, and character reference to place a similar character into multiple scenes. 
Combining these approaches can be really powerful and give you a lot of creative control over the types of images that you're trying to create. I really love combining style reference and character reference together for storytelling and creating cohesive scenes. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.